What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new video today. I got a tutorial about positioning, probably the most important thing in this entire game. I'll be coming out with a couple of episodes of uh, tutorials on how to improve uh, in Battlefield, how to get better at it, starting today with positioning. Uh, the most important thing in Battlefield 5, more important than aiming, more important than movement. Uh, and I kind of wanted to get in depth with this a little bit more today. Uh, positioning is also one of the hardest things to explain because positioning is uh, understanding every situation where you're in and knowing Battlefield, not every situation is the same, um, which is quite understandable when you have to deal with 32 enemies and 31 teammates most of the time, uh, depending what game what you play. Uh, so I got a couple of uh, clips, I got a couple of um, steps on what you have to be thinking about uh, when you're positioning yourself and um, and how to improve overall. Positioning will also get you a lot of kills uh, if you do it correctly. It's hard to learn and it also has to come with experience because you need to understand maps, you need to understand Open spawns, you need to uh, understand what guns enemies have. Um, so it comes with a lot of experience, but there are some uh, tips and tricks that can help you improve with it a lot, which I want to get into today. All right, so now we're going through some steps you have to do every time when you get to a position. Uh, these are five steps, and it's gonna sound like a lot because it sounds like a lot of thinking. Um, uh, I don't like when you have to do them, but these are like five basic one, yeah. steps you always should keep in mind when you're switching from position or if you're pushing something, if you're defending something, um, you know stuff like that. So there's five steps. I'll be going through them all, and then I have expla uh, explanations as well. Um, so step one is what are you trying to do? Are you either on the attacking side? Are you defending? Uh, if you're playing team deathmatch, uh, are you trying to get kills? Are you trying to survive a situation? Um, are you trying to take out a tank? Are you... So that's the, the first thing you gotta keep in mind is what are you actually trying to do and where are you going on your map? Um, the second one is what gun or class do you have can you, so like what you're trying to do can you do that with the class you have and um, is it possible to uh, be effective with this class while you're trying to do what you're going to do um, this is a pretty these these two first steps are pretty simple you know like for an example breakthrough Rotterdam trying to attack the objective uh, if you're on the attacking side, I'm trying to get to the objective, what class do I have? I have the medic class, so you're pretty much going to be very effective where you're trying to push. You know, if you're sniping and you're on the attacking side, you're going to be less effective to push, so you, you should keep that in mind. Uh, so these first two steps are quite quick. Uh, now the third one is uh, very important for positioning. And these are where are your teammates. This is why the minimap is so important in this game. People think um, in Battle 5 you don't get spotted too much, uh, even though you got flares and stuff like that. Uh, but not compared to Battle 4, you know, when somebody starts shooting, you appear on the minimap. Um, that's not how this game works. But still, there's so much information on the minimap, like where are your teammates. Always keep that in mind, where are your teammates. Because um, even though this is not always the case, and this is a mistake I make a lot, um, it's something you still should keep in mind is um, where your teammates are going to be that's either where the enemy team is going to be looking at or it's also going to be a place where you don't really have to be looking for enemies if that makes sense you can be unlucky in these situations it doesn't always work um, but your teammates can back you up or they can at least um, be working as distraction or you can check if they're checking I'll angles so you don't gym, have to uh, check them anymore so always check where your teammates are and what they are doing um, now the fourth one is quite an obvious one uh, where are the enemies this is also a hard one this is here, yeah, something that also comes with experience um, especially playing maps like breakthrough there's always certain hot spots where enemies always will be well almost always not every situation is the same um, but like there are certain hot spots where like for example like there's always a tower where a sniper will be camping or there's always most likely going to be someone camping on the balcony on um, devastation the church you know uh, always somebody is going to be up there so th those are the first places you're going to check um, it's even better if they're spotted on the minimap obviously um, but you kind of have to guess uh, what 
places are more important to check than others. And this is where the experience part comes in. Not even not, not having the good aim or the good movement, but just understanding the game and uh, the map. Um, also where enemies are is um, not even close to you, but could there be a sniper looking at you? Could there be a tank um, somewhere or planes, you know? Um, so it's not just where the enemies like, are they close to me, but also can they be, um, is there an angle on me that I can check or uh, can they see me from a longer range? And then number five, the most obvious one, what's the best position to um, to do what you were trying to do at the first part? So is this the best position uh, with the gun class that I have? Is this the best position of the things I'm trying to do? Is this the best position um, also according to where my teammates are? And is this the best position to find enemies or hide from them? <laughs> Either one, whatever you're trying to do. Um, so these are five steps you gotta keep in mind. Um, next we're going into uh, two examples that I have of how I'm doing this myself. All right, so here we are at a situation, Maria, uh, we have D, E, and F, and we're missing A, B, and C. You see the ticks are pretty close, so what I'm trying to do is I'm attacking the C objective, which is here right under the bridge. Um, so I already explained part one, uh, what am I trying to do? And that is obviously trying to uh, capture C. Now I'm using the medic class, so I can be aggressive and I get uh, can get up close, and that's also what you're trying to prefer to do. You know, you're trying to get in this in those up close battles because um, you will win those more often than the long range battles because the gun is obviously uh, better for that. Uh, now my teammates, all right, we're gonna check. You can see that right here. It might be a little bit hard to see, um, but my team is pretty much mostly. Uh, coming from E and D, uh, there is a couple of players here on the flag with me. I think it's actually only one player. Uh, and most of them are behind this rock right here, right, right behind this rock. But they're pretty much all on this side. You gotta always take a look at the minimap here. So this side of the map is covered. There, There's like, you don't have to check this. There's very rare occasions where there's gonna be enemies right next to teammates. Um, but this is why you have to take a look at where your teammates are because uh, this is also some place I don't have to check. Now I can already see, okay, next question, um, where are the enemies? Uh, you can see on the C objective, you can see this little part is blue. That's pretty much me and I think that random teammate that just revived me. And the, 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 the other part is red, which means there's more enemies than there is uh, teammates. Otherwise, we would be capping the... Objective now there's quite a lot of enemies, so I um, should try and get out of here um, This is quite an exposed place. So uh, the fifth one. What is the best position? Uh, this is not the best position uh, You can survive here. Uh, it can work, but uh, there's a lot of angles to check and there's no teammates here so I'm trying to uh, Find a different position also a place where I get more kills um, So this is instantly where I'm going I have teammates here behind me again where are my teammates so I hope behind me is covered now uh, this is sometimes where you have to rely on teammates which sucks in this game because you sometimes can't uh, but you it, sometimes you just have to trust your teammate and hope for the best because uh, it's also a way to get a lot more kills um, so I'm trying to go to this place right here and why is that because here I have to check uh, the fewest uh, angles and it's the best for the gun if I would have gone right um, let's say right here, if I would have gone this side, this is a much more open place, um, which I'm going to be losing most gunfights with the ZK. Also, I'm going to try and take C, uh, so it's probably better for me to go to the other side. So I'm going this way. The clip might be a little bit laggy here. Okay, so I'm getting shot from behind. I have teammates behind me. I'm healing up and I keep running instead of going back for that gunfight. Uh, now I try, I'm trying to capture C. Um, now sometimes there's snipers here, I think by, I don't know, I've already played the game a little bit, so I might know that there's no snipers here, I don't know if I'm going to check that, probably not. Okay, now here, this is an important part, I see these sandbags are built, which is actually really good. Um, now you can still see that my teammates are um, right here, behind the bridge, um, so I pretty much got behind the enemies with a ZK. 
Now I hope the guy behind me that shot me is dead. We are gonna kill. Alright, so we're behind the sandbag now. Players behind me. What What is good now to know is that um, the place where your enemies are most of the time going to be looking is to your teammates because there's a bunch of teammates uh, behind the bridge. Um, so they're a very good distraction now which you can make uh, use of. Um, now you're wondering like, wait, were you trying to cap C? Why aren't you on the flag? It's better to clear the flag first than to just sit like a standing duck on the flag. Um, so first I'm trying to wipe the objective and then we're trying to cap. And hopefully you can cap with more teammates because capping a flag on your own takes ages in this game. Okay, now you already could see uh, there's a player right here. He's too far away, so I might as well just run away instead of take the gunfight. <clears throat> I go behind the fortification. Now I can check all these angles. I don't have to check behind me anymore because I already checked that. Uh, there's teammates here, so it's probably going to be a lot of distraction. Now, here again, I check the angles. There's no one here. This might be a player, I'm not sure. Uh, but there's no one here, so I go around the corner. Um, you can also slow peek this. This was not the best peek. Uh, it worked here, luckily. Okay, now you see this player has gone closer. And he's now an easy kill. Um, every time I get one kill, reload, I heal up, whatever I have to do, and then I get back into combat. Now, this is the part where your teammates are coming in clutch. Because you see this player, he's distracted by my team. So this is where the easy kills are being part of. Now I hear some shots behind here. Get the kill, reload. Okay, here I can see if I have to check the objective. You see that? There's a lot of blue and a little bit of red. So I don't really have to check for the players on the objective that much anymore. I know that's not a big threat anymore. I go behind cover. I'm not taking this gunfight yet because he's too far away and I'm low on heals. So I try to heal up, try to look for other angles. Then I check this again, I think he's behind the rock or something. Go back. And all these players are distracted. Now if I was alone here, this is why you need to know where your teammates are again. Um, if I was alone here, it might have been better for me to run at this point. Because these the, it was going to be a two versus one situation. Uh, but there's so many teammates around, I know I can take a little bit more risk and actually push. And I get both kills. Now now my team is pushing, so there we go, we captured C. And that's that's when I tried to move again. Uh, this was not the best push again, made that mistake. I see a teammate here, and th this is also um, why you shouldn't always trust your teammates. This is right away an example. Um, the problem here is that I have a teammate behind this enemy. Uh, so I'm instantly like, okay, let's push that. Uh, sadly, there's a enemy right there and I die. Um, so that's how you should approach positioning. No matter what gun you have, you can also snipe in the back of the map and uh, be useful, but you gotta do it the right way. You gotta be, do it with a, a purpose. Um, and if you position yourself well, you can get so many kills without having the best aim or movement. Uh, you just gotta be thinking about your positioning. Uh, positioning also comes with map, map knowledge and experience. Um, so I hope that explains. I might come with a part 2 with just examples. Uh, in case you guys want to see that, let me know. And I'll do that. Um, but hope you guys learned a little bit from this video. Actually, surprised I killed them all. I'm just ignoring the guy that's camping behind me.